I want to ask you, Seth, like, how does the listener, because I think this guy, I mean, although he's, he's super high level, he's, he's a go-getter. He's done uh, ultra marathons and stuff like that, like super good shape. His business is succeeding. He's made millions and millions of dollars over the last few years, but he's not making, he's not asking an offer. He's not doing a call to action. So if, if I'm the listener and I'm hearing that step four, is I need to have a call to action mm -hmm. and some people don't do it. They might be afraid of doing it. Like, what do I need to do to have a good call to action? Yeah. I think it needs to be done well, um, which is intangible. So I apologize for that. But I think that part of the reason that people don't want to do it is because we've seen it done poorly. Like we've all seen Mar we, we've all, all felt over marketed to, or we've all been listening to something and it's just like, man, that ad was terrible. Or that was right in the middle of a kind of a sentence, or we've all seen call to actions and offers done terribly. And we, I mean, we're blitzed with ads every single day. The thing that people don't realize is I do not mind seeing an ad that solves a problem that I'm experiencing right now. I'm actually pretty excited about it. Like if I, if I hear an offer and that offer is helping me solve a problem that I currently have, and I'm trying to figure out the solution to, and it's done in an authentic way, then that's great. So, I, I mean, I think that the simple version is, um, if you're doing shorter episodes, like you got to have an outro that mentions, how can you help your audience? And if you can't help your audience, then why do you have a podcast kind of? Um, so I think that's one of the pieces where super simple, talk about how you can help your audience and have a clear way that they can contact you or have some kind of value that you can give them, whether it's resources or a call or something like make after make your audience feel silly for not taking advantage of whatever offer you have at the end of an episode. Yeah. Um, I think if you're doing longer episodes, like a lot of clients will, will do like mid roll ads or something where, you know, sometimes we'll, you're priming your audience to be familiar with hearing advertisements. Those ads are just for you. They're for your business instead of for someone else's. So those are, those are a few ways that people can, can do it. Mm -hmm.